you're thinking about becoming a real estate agent in Washington, watch this video. I'm going to share with you the exact process you need to go through to get your license fast and effortlessly. My name is Mike Novak. I'm one of the team leaders and an agent on the Novak Real Estate team, part of Real Brokerage. If you've got interest in Real Brokerage, definitely reach out to us as the fastest growing publicly traded brokerage on the planet right now and for a really good reason. So definitely reach out to us. My contact information is down below if you've got interest in learning more about Real Brokerage. But let's jump into this video. Let's go deep on this topic. How do you get your license fast in Washington? First of all, welcome to real estate. <laughs> it's an awesome industry. A lot of people are really attracted to it for a couple of reasons. First is typically the freedom. It provides a lot of freedom if you do real estate right, where you can live the lifestyle you want. You can be home with your family, but still doing deals from the house. You can be up skiing and still pending a deal if you've got the right kind of leverage within your business. Pretty awesome. The second big reason is typically the unlimited amount of income that you can make in real estate. The paydays can be pretty big if you can really figure out this business and increase your skill set to the point where bring massive amounts of value to clients and you become the just big name in your market that people want to use. Okay. So with that said, let me walk you through the process to get your license right here in Washington. First step, make sure that you qualify to get your license. Okay. You need to be 18 years or older. You need to have a high school diploma or the equivalent like a GED. Uh, and you need to complete 90 hours of real estate school. So there's 60 hours that I believe we call real estate fundamentals and 30 hours of real estate ethics and principles like the, the, um, the countrywide part of it, basically. So 90 hours of total schoolwork that you need to take. And then after that, you need to schedule your exam. So let me give you a couple tips on the exam because a lot of agents freak out about this. They overthink the exam. It's multiple choice. When I took it years ago now, there was four possible answers to any question. And when you read the answer or when you read the question and then you looked at the answers, it was kind of obvious that two of the four were not applicable at all. So it was really just a matter of elimination. And then you, when I read the question and I looked at the answers, it really became clear that one of the two was the best answer. You're not going to get it right every time, but when I see people that repeatedly fail the real estate exam, which is like a pretty simple test, they're doing it because they're rethinking. Okay. So you should go into this well studied, having taken multiple practice exams, and then don't overthink your responses. Certainly don't go back through the test after you've completed it and change your responses. Just stick with what you originally thought was right and go off your gut. Okay. So if you fail the exam, it's not a huge deal. You can repeat it um, as many times as you need to, to actually get your license. But if you've, again, if you've practiced, if you've studied, it should be pretty straightforward to get it done your first time. Okay. After that, you need to schedule your fingerprints. They're going to run a background check on you. You're not supposed to have any felonies or any big legal troubles or anything like that. Um, but they want to have your fingerprints on file. If you think about it, you're going to be going into people's houses and with that comes a lot of responsibility. Okay. So they're going to make sure that they're not sending people to, um, sending an agent to somebody's house that could be a predator. They're going to make sure that you're not that person. So get your fingerprints done and get them submitted. Okay. The last step is to, to, um, send in your application and most brokerages will do this for you. Like you'll have your printout from the real estate school. You'll have your fingerprints and that'll get sent in, um, or the fingerprints get sent in ahead of time. Then the application gets sent in later. Once you choose which brokerage you're going to work with. Okay. So that's the process to get your license. Some people, I mean, they can get their license in two, three weeks if they're really pushing the envelope and they're studying fast and things like that, you can do up to 10 hours of school per day. So theoretically you can get through the schooling in nine straight days. If you were really driven to do this, it took me about two weeks to get my real estate license because I really wanted to get it done. And there wasn't a big backlog of agents at that time. Okay. That will then lead you to the point where you need to choose a brokerage and choosing a brokerage is a really big decision. I've made other videos on how to choose the best brokerage for you. There's cloud-based options like real brokerage, like eXp, and then there's actual brick and mortar locations and, and brands like Keller Williams, uh, Compass, you know, Coldwell Banker, things like that. The, the difference really is just what you need in a brokerage and what your skill set is like and what kind of environment you're going to thrive in. If you're curious about real, like I said earlier, definitely reach out to me. My contact information is down below. In my opinion, it's the best brokerage on the planet. It's the most economically efficient model there is. Okay. Good luck with your test.